starting to get a little bit more momentous, momentumous. <laughs> Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Um, that being said, I'm very behind on my, my training plan. I it's time! As you could say, I do have like a little thing that I, I like to do um, and I kind of expanded on it. Um, so I thought I would share what it is that I'm going to be doing moving forward. Now that it's the beginning of March, I'm going to be pushing towards mid-March. I'm very behind on what I had set out to do this year. <clears throat> In the past, I have started with my backpack empty or with, you know, just a few extra pounds in it uh, right from the get-go in January. But then that turned out to be an unsafe situation. Um, with diceness back then I didn't have spikes and I was doing it only on the road because like the trails were just impossible for me with having nothing that I could wear and so I do live in a very hilly area and there are some spots that's very easy to slip and I actually slipped and fell right on my butt one day and um and in, in the process I kind of I got back and neck issues to boot right so I kind of mm, pulled something there in that particular instance so this year, I thought, well, I'm not gonna do anything, right? And uh, until it, all the snow's gone, or like when February came along, I was like, I think I'm okay with it. When I'm using my spikes, I'm all right. Um, but I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. <laughs> um, my my beast here, uh, he weighs about four and a half to five pounds. So it's, uh, like I said in a previous video, I'm not ultra light. Um, so even just wearing that alone to get started is, you know, is something <laughs> that I can kind of get something out of. Not a lot, but. I do sometimes notice that when I'm climbing, it's a little bit like, uh, um, so what I'm going to do is, um, uh, today I'm about three weeks behind on this. I'm going to start wearing him, uh, with my tent, another non ultralight item, which is like five pounds. Um, I like my tent though. I like my pack and I like my tent. So all I'm going to say about that at this point, uh, let's see in the past, um, I have, done um trails where i needed to get trail ready as i like to say and i was so like ready after my first experience of not being anywhere near ready <sighs> i don't know um <laughs> i i thought this this next time i'm going to be like so ready i'm going to train on um on uh, at myra like every day and i was always doing the lost lake trail and it was only the lost lake trail that i was doing you know, steadily goes up for this. So gentle, so gentle. Um, but I got good at that. And, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to be trail ready. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do the regional park, you know, um, in my last week. And, um, you know, something new. And then she get up. And I remember it was a good climb or whatever. Well, I'd forgotten just how good of a climb it really was. And I wasn't even like a third of the way up. And I was swearing. because I realized I was training on the wrong effing hill. I was so mad. <laughs> and there was no time left, right? My, my trip was in like a week, it might've been two weeks, but it was a week away and I was so disappointed because I knew I wasn't gonna be like fully ready. I still had a successful trip, but um, <clears throat> I can't even tell you, uh, like, can't describe how angry I was about that situation. You want me to show you angry? I'm not angry. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm angry. So anyways, um, you know, some experiences came up later that, you know, I was more ready. Uh, I think I was the most ready I've ever been um, on my last uh, Hiram Trail trip that I did. I was, I was, that was pretty good. And that was a cram situation because I decided to go last minute. So still not 100% where I wanted to be. So this year I want to be totally there. <laughs> and I think I'm going to be this time because now I know what I need to do. Anyhow, I am very long-winded. Um, what I am looking at doing, so what I've looked at in the past, I never really followed fully and I'm still not going to follow it fully because I don't um, particularly agree with like me and how I do things and how um, 
my body responds to things and my schedule and time and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't follow it fully, but there is uh, a great resource for any of you who want to be like training for a trip or anything like that. And um, it is um, REI um, on their website. They have a backpacking trip training program in there. It's fantastic. It's really good. You know, it's saying do this many days non consecutively of, of hiking, of strength training, of cardio, that kind of thing. So. I have put that into like how it works with my schedule and I'm going to start incorporating some of those things little by little. So the first things first is I'm going to start wearing my backpack with a little bit of weight and increasing it as time goes by. Um, this goes uh, a little bit against uh, what they're saying. They're saying, I don't remember. It was something like um, train with your pack on so many days a week or something like that. I do it every chance I get because um, I try to get the weight up as much as possible because I carry a lot of weight. And uh, so in order for me to do that, I need to be used to it. I would never dream of waiting until like a month before my trip to have that much in my pack. Like a month before my trip, I've already had all of the weight that I'm going to be carrying and I'm, I've already been doing that, right? If I miss a day or two of that, it seems like such a chore to even put the sucker on, okay? <clears throat> with uh between that and then let alone having to start <laughs> doing some mileage and climbing up stuff even like a gentle hill I'm just like no right so yeah I start now and I start increasing now uh so that's what I'm going to do today for the first day is I'm going to carry my pack with my tent in it so uh you know 10 between 10 and 11 pounds in there so awesome right okay so that's one thing I don't agree with on it but um, the other thing is, so that starts today. And as I said, I'm three weeks behind, but I should be starting now. It's my cardio work. <laughs> cardio work is going to start. Um, I'm going to say maybe next week or the week after. Okay. And, um, I am going to count that mileage towards my project if I go outside to do it. If I'm on the treadmill, I'm not counting it because part of the whole point of the project was to get me doing something every day, but also to get me outside every day because it's so much easier for me to get on a machine inside the house than it is to get me all my gear and get everything out. And that was part of what steers me away from, you know, a successful training period anyways, right? So I would end up stopping because I just didn't feel like getting all my stuff together because it's a real to do for me even when I have everything on spot <laughs> so um, I am gonna count cardio outside not on a bike though only if it's like running um, or something like that so um, yeah I am gonna start the cardio maybe next week week after for sure and then um, strength training so the strength training I'm not going to follow the actual program that um, I'm realizing that my video is gonna be like <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> can be my quirky thing. Um, REI actually has like a set of exercises and how many sets to do and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to go really basic. It's going to be basically, I'm going to work on my abs, my butt, my quads. And uh, I think I'm going to stick my calves in there too, because uh, they're the things that seem to complain a bit in a bad way, not an overdoing it kind of way, but a, a way going like, we don't like this. That's what I've been noticing since January, some things on, on avoiding the injuries with my particular case, my particular body. Um, I'm noticing that my calves, um, that's my favorite muscle in my whole body. <laughs> and anybody's body is like, I love the calf muscle. Weird little thing. But anyway, <laughs> um, it's, it's been complaining in ways that I feel are not a good way to um, feel so so there's that so I'm gonna start the strength training probably at the beginning of April and then moving on from there now in terms of um, what I'm doing because my hikes are uh, in the past month you know they've gone really gone downhill on distance and intensity and stuff like that so I'm starting to pick that back up now um, what I'm going to be doing there is Sundays are definitely, it's a mileage day. It's a climbing day. You know, it's going to be like a big day. <clears throat> I need to start going into um, steeper places as well. So there is the one place that I started going on was uh, Lebanon 
Creek um, Greenway and Trail. That's a, a darn good climb. It's a good one. It's a really, really good, uh, good workout. Um, so I'm going to be starting to do that a little bit more too now. So uh, let's see. I have entertained the thought of, you know, when I'm bringing back in the running, I'm not going to do this for a few months because gosh, <laughs> I used to be a runner and I'm not anymore. So my body is like, what, what are you doing? <sighs> so when I start doing that again, when I do some cardio work, <clears throat> it's going to be, uh, something I would really like to be able to do is to be able to actually do some, it'll be more jogging <laughs> up some of these trails that climb. I think that would be amazing if I could do that. So um, like even the gentleness of the Lost Lake Trail, that would be amazing to me if I could, if I could do that because I'm not, you know, I'm not in shape. So I don't remember if there's anything else I need to talk about there. Mind like a sieve. Backpack today, putting in some weight every few days, usually about a pound at a time. Cardio next week, strength training in April. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Yep. Mad like I said. But I guess I'll have to do another video for anyone who really cares about my training. Um, you know, I don't I don't know if anybody really gives it. You know what? Anyway. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs>